of our um, talks, uh, top tips on treatment dilemmas. Uh, so some of the issues that we face around uh, the various types of uh, the plethora of drops and ointments that are available. Can we start off with dry eyes? What do you recommend that we use? Hundreds of formulas around available. I think if it's up to me, I would recommend preservative free to be honest. But they are very expensive, I understand that. I would really start with the simple, the cheapest, and they work very well, hypermellose eye drops, mm -hmm. and maybe during the day, four times, up to 10 times a day, and in the evening, viscotears, for example. And of course, there are other formulas, and we suggested that maybe the pharmacist could uh, mm -hmm. help you with a package of all these, and then patients to try them. So patient preference and uh, Patient preference in the end, yes. Okay. They may not like right. one, but they like the other. And what about treatments for conjunctivitis, straightforward? Again, conjunctivitis, I would start with the simplest, the well-known antibiotic, chloramphenicol, four times a day, for a week, if it doesn't recover, if it's bacterial, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't, then do swaps, and then uh, if it is still not getting any better, then there must be some other problems, a foreign body or uh, blocked tear passages or chronic uh, types of germs, then mm. send them to us so or So would you them. use fusithalmic? I wouldn't really, we don't mm. like mm. fusithalmic for some reason, mm. I think they are uh, mm. uh, bacteriostatic rather than... Uh, okay. And in terms of blepharitis, we've already talked about lit hygiene. We talked about lit hygiene indeed yeah. in blepharitis, viral conjunctivitis, Nothing really. I will give them maybe chloramphenicol to prevent secondary infection in case mm -hmm. they rub their eyes. Mm -hmm. And of course, chlamydia, you refer them and we deal with them, yeah. systemic as well as geomedicine. And of course, the biggest dilemma that we have as GPs is steroid drops. What are the indications for us to use steroid drops? Are you happy to use them, us to use them in recurrent iritis? Well, if you are sure that the patient doesn't have glaucoma or m not susceptible to glaucoma and if you know the history from communication with us, like patient is chronic uveitis, recurrence of the disease, then probably it's okay to initiate them and then send them back to us. But I will advise always in a red eye, acute problems, stain the cornea first. Exclude herpetic. If there is herpetic and you put steroids in, you'll make it worse. So exclude herpetic, exclude the chlamydia, and exclude uh, glaucoma, obviously, from history or communication with us. It's helpful for us to have some advice in writing, in a management plan, as to whether flare-ups could be usefully uh, established Indeed, by and we do that occasionally. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll uh, advise my colleagues as well. Mm -hmm. If it's uh, somebody with the chronic iritis, we then tell the GP, please, if it is recurring again, mm -hmm. start it and then send them to us. It will save time as well. What about the various drops that are now used um, for glaucoma? They seem to be... Uh... Hundreds of them <laughs> yes. available. We have the same dilemma. I think it's very, very difficult in glaucoma. What's recommended in this area by the primary care is to use uh, Travaprost or Travatan drops as the first line, and we started using that. And it's more or less the same. The first line are the prostaglandine analogs, the three of them. They are cousins. Mm -hmm. The Latanoprost the, uh, or Zelatan, and the uh, Travatan and Lumigan. Mm -hmm. Lumigan works better, but it causes more red eyes. Mm -hmm. So we use it as a third line, you know, in the first group. Uh, beta blockers, of course, mm -hmm. excluding mm -hmm. if they have any bradycardia mm -hmm. or heart block or asthma, then it's still a good, a good medication to use. But mm -hmm. then, again, I don't think you should initiate mm -hmm. that. I think leave it to us. So, so how would you like us to approach it if the patient's having adverse effects with their drops? If they have adverse effects, usually it is to the um, preservative. Mm -hmm. And some of them, they will have probably bronchitis with it, mm -hmm. or irritation in the mm -hmm. eye, or redness. Mm -hmm. Then use the choose and book, and then we, we can mm -hmm. advise you what to use instead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Simple things, hay fever, any top tips? Hay fever, give them systemic uh, antihistamines, tablets, and I'll give them chromoglycate, sodium chromoglycate, but advise them this is not going to cure it. It is a prophylactic. It's a long run. You have to use it during the hay fever season. But if it is really red and congested and itchy eyes, I'll give them a very short course of mild steroid, like Prezol, Minims, preservative free, three times a day for a week. Again, excluding corneal ulcers. Thank you very much. You're welcome.